So we're now going to start to add a bit of color to the page and create our containers. And then we'll also go ahead and create the background for the top element. So this orange colored background, basically for the header and the feature uh, at the top. So we'll be using Photoshop to pick out this orange color. Um, but basically what we're going to do is creating containers, um, just generic containers that will you know, hold, this, hold these elements. And the reason we do this once again is because we want the container to stretch 100% stretch of the width here. Um, and obviously, uh, we then want to create our row within it with the uh, columns, as we've already seen. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we would do this now. So the first thing we want to do is mark this up. So let's go ahead and create a div. And we'll go ahead and add a class just now. So the class of this is going to be container, okay? So down here, what we're going to do is go ahead and create a container style. So container. Now all I'm going to do here is give this a padding of 40 pixels uh, to the top and bottom and 20 pixels to the left and right. And the reason we do the left and right pixels is because um, when we change to a responsive view, this is going to basically have to have some kind of padding on the left and right hand side. Otherwise, the text or whatever else will just sort of push against the edge of the screen. So this container now, if we just go ahead and type in any anything here. There we are. So we've now got uh, the padding at the top and the left. So what you can now do is go ahead and start to add the hooks in, so like the background hooks and things like that. So let's just go ahead and add a comment here. So we'll say containers. And down here, let's go ahead and add backgrounds comment. And we'll go ahead and start to add backgrounds. So these are just going to be single classes, which are going to be background and then a color. So in this case, it's going to be background orange. So we can go ahead and pick the color out from uh, within Photoshop. So all we need to do is choose the color picker, pick that, open here, and you can see that we've got a hex value there, which is exactly what we need. So we can go ahead and say background color, uh, give a hash, and then just say f8 bc3b so now what's going to happen is the uh, once we apply this background orange uh, class to here that will go ahead and change to orange now the reason that we're doing these background classes um, and we're not specifically saying well we want the top bit to be orange is basically because when we get to the bits like in the design uh, let's just have a look down here. We want to go ahead and just add classes to these. We don't want to say, oh, we want the first one to be black and the second one to be white, the third one to be red and then orange and blue and so on. It's a lot easier to go ahead and add these hooks and then they can just be reused wherever we want them to be reused. And the reason that's helpful is that it means less code and also it means that if, for example, you wanted to change this orange background color to something you know, slightly darker or slightly li lighter, um, and it, you still wanted it to be orange, bear in mind that we've named the class orange, you can go ahead and do this easily and it will reflect everywhere on your website. So you don't have to go ahead and update different styles on different pages. So that's the container. What we also need to do though, is we need to create another uh, class for another container. Uh, and that's a spacey container. And we're gonna use that for things like this, here uh, or this here so we'll basically see where this is more appropriate in a moment but I'm going to say container spacey now notice we're not having something like container dot spacey we're creating an entirely new class we're not chaining class names on together uh, and we're going to just basically change the padding on the top and the bottom to be slightly larger so I'm going to say 80 pixels and 20 pixels left and right so rather than uh, adding a chaining class on, we're just basically redefining what the padding should be. So we've got container and container spacey. When I can change this to container spacey, you see that we get a slightly larger area. So we can use that later on. The reason that we're using just the standard container for the top 
is that this is going to actually contain the uh, header and the navigation and we don't want a massive um, you know massive gap at the top so that's it for containers and backgrounds what we're going to be doing along the series is adding a lot more background colors to this we're done with the containers now but the background list will grow particularly when we get to the part where we're picking the colors for this section here we'll have to go in and pick each of these colors and create a class for each of these elements so that's that for containers and backgrounds we're now going to move on to actually create the header and start to create the brand or the logo at the top with another font so we'll introduce another font to our page and we'll actually start to make this look uh, you know start looking like an actual website